Heading to New York, it looks like the FBI is raiding some of Mayor Adams' top aides. Uh, his different mayors, his different police chiefs, stuff like that. The FBI is raiding them as we speak. Let's tune into the video and see what's going on in these streets of New York, y'all. But first, we're following some breaking news, a sprawling federal investigation tonight, focusing on senior officials in... I could have done a better cutout of Mayor Adams, honestly. Look at the top... Breaking news, a... See that? They missed all that piece right there. I, I Sprawling federal investigation tonight, focusing on senior officials in New York City Mayor Adams' administration. Agents searched the homes of several top aides, and they subpoenaed the cell phones of top NYPD officials. And tonight, we get reaction from the mayor himself. And good evening to you at 6 o'clock. I'm Liz Chow. And I'm Bill Ritter. We begin with the expanding investigation into top aides of the mayor. FBI agents yesterday raiding the homes of Phil Banks, deputy mayor of public safety, and deputy mayor Sheena Wright. She's the partner of school's chancellor David Banks. Phil Banks is his brother. And it doesn't end there. The phones of police commissioner Edward Caban and six other NYPD officials have been subpoenaed tonight. The feds also want the phone of Adams advisor Tim Pearson. The question tonight, it is exactly what are federal prosecutors looking for? I would assume That's a great question. What are they looking for exactly? It's not looking good if the FBI is looking into your stuff. To be honest with you. That means there's some type of corruption going on somewhere along the lines in something the uh, the Adams administration is doing. Some type of it's looking like. Y'all let me know. If y'all from New York, y'all let me know. Because I know some of y'all that follow me are from New York. Is it corrupt? Is it corrupt? I know it is when it comes to crime. But is the, is the government corrupt also down in New York? Reporter NJ Bark live at City Hall where he talked this afternoon to the mayor. Newt. And right, Bill, it does not get any higher than the first deputy mayor of the city of New York and the NYPD commissioner. But to be clear, no one, not the mayor, not anyone in his administration has been accused or charged with any wrongdoing. But these latest raids and subpoenas now reach deep into City Hall. I'm not aware of any wrongdoing or misgivings from anyone on my team, and we're going to continue to cooperate. Mayor Adams insists tonight that he's confident, despite a new series of FBI raids reaching into the highest levels of his administration. The final analysis is going to be done. Um, I think that I have not done anything wrong. I've said that over and over again. Sources confirmed to Eyewitness News tonight that FBI agents raided the homes and city hall offices of his first deputy mayor, Sheena Ross and Phil Banks, his deputy mayor for public safety. Banks' home in Queens was searched at dawn yesterday, as well as Ms. Wright's home in Upper Manhattan. Those same sources also confirm that agents with subpoenas searched the office of NYPD Commissioner Edward Caban, seizing his phones as well as phones and electronics of half a dozen other police officials. The exact nature of the investigation could not be confirmed late this afternoon, and it was not clear whom is being targeted by the Justice Department. However, See, the one thing I don't like about the FBI is that they don't give you a reason for why uh, they raiding your stuff. Like, at least give me a reason. Like, oh, we found, we heard you, you doing this and that, so we got to search your stuff. Cool. All right. At least I know this is what y'all trying to search my stuff for. We good. Like, y'all go ahead. Do y'all thing. But for y'all to just come in here uninvited unexpected talking about we need all your stuff and we ain't telling you why i i i don't know about that man i i, I don't know about that that's kind of crazy that's kind of crazy but again these are government officials they are held at a very high standard compared to the regular uh, united states american um and they they probably in their contracts and their stuff, they're probably forced to um, sign sign off that if the FBI needs to raid, they can raid. So it makes sense. It makes sense. But let's continue.
However, sources say that the raids are unrelated to an ongoing investigation into Mayor Adams' 2021 campaign. Those questions date back to November, when FBI agents raided the home of the mayor's chief fundraiser. Part of an investigation into whether the 2021 campaign received donations and illegal gifts from citizens and government officials in Turkey. FBI agents have already seized the mayor's phones as part of that investigation. Does that alarm you that it may be taking on another dimension? And if not, why not? The, I think the most important thing that I must do is to send the right message to uh, my team and all the employees in the city. We're going to comply with whatever rules and we're going to follow the law. Veteran political consultant Hank Sheinkoff says the stakes for the mayor are high. Either this is the greatest corruption scandal since the third Koch administration, which is the most corrupt administration since Jimmy Walker, or it's nothing. That's what we're going to be seeing over the next few months. Well, there's been no... That's a fact. Honestly, I, I, I would really like to know. I'm going to keep y'all updated with what's going on here, too, with this corruption case. A lot of mayors are, are getting investigated right now by the FBI. A lot of mayors. Um, we got Oakland mayors getting uh, investigated. Dalton mayor is getting arrest, uh, ar uh, investigated. That's in um, Illinois. New York's. Um, a lot of mayors, man. This is this is interesting to see, and I do really want to know what what is about to unfold with all this mayor um, corruption that the FBI is thinking that's happening. So, let's finish off this video. See what else they got to say. Let's get out of here, man. Comments so far from any of those subpoenaed this week. No comment tonight from the U.S. Justice Department. Now, whether the mayor is a target of this latest investigation, and it appears for the moment he is not, this is not a good look for the administration with just over a year to go before the election. Live tonight at City Hall, N.J. Burke at Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Definitely not a good look. Definitely not a good look. That was great. Um, let me know y'all thoughts about this down in the comments below. I'd really like to hear y'all thoughts, especially if y'all are from New York. FBI raid on the Mayor Adams' top aides is crazy. Is there corruption, yay or nay? Uh, it's your boy, D-Guy Sauce, man. If y'all are new, hit that like button on your way out. Hit that subscribe button, too. Till next time. Peace.